Um, hi. 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 Shut the hell up, bit bit. What do you buy? So, a while ago, maybe in November, October, damn, it's been a long time. I roasted a whole, not ro I don't know. I don't know what I did. I don't know what that was. I reacted. I said I was gonna like psychoanalyze y'all's book show, maybe roast it a little bit. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't even know what psycho, like what is that? What is a psychoanalysis of something or someone? or a, a bookshelf. I guess it would have to deal with mental processes and neurological stuff. So maybe, you know what, in this video, I'm, I'm gonna say true to my word, I am gonna be diagnosing y'all. I'm gonna be diagnosing y'all, and then um, through your emails, I'm just gonna track down your address, and I will be sending you, I will be medicating you. Coming out of my way um, to medicate y'all. Just like online, through Mark, Mark, <laughs> through Mark Cuban's thing. So thank you to Mark Cuban. This video is sponsored by Mark Cuban. But yeah, in this video, I'm just gonna be psychoanalyzing a few more of y'all's bookshelves. This, I'm sure you're wondering who that is. That's Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. She's a psychiatrist and she created the five stages of grief. Uh, denial, anger, bargaining, depression, acceptance. I just put that there as like a reminder for what's coming for you because I'm about to destroy- I'm about to destroy you. I'm gonna roast your ass so fucking hard and really open yourself up to yourself and the tr your truth which is hard for a lot of people to face that you will die ah! i guess i didn't think this through because i guess the dead person they're not the ones who grieve so maybe just like show this video to your mom the first person that I want to start off with is, I think her name's Camille. They always comment on my videos and I'm very appreciative. But they commented on my first one, something like, if you don't react to mine in the next one, you're gonna die. You're gonna die. I said, damn. I said, damn, Camille. Are you French? Camille, bonjour. Bonjour, comment ça va? Je vais regarder ton... Lire de... Shelf. Okay, ooh, wait, first of all, I like the bag. I like this like satchel, You is it a satchel? <laughs> the one thing is I don't like this wood. I will say that. It looks like it's like, if you can't tell by the fridge, I'm in my kitchen. I know you can't feel this, but I imagine it feels like this. This is a wooden spoon. I, I guess it makes sense that they didn't put like lacquer on it because when you put it in the, in the hot pot then it would probably poison your food but it's like not smooth and that's what i don't like about your bookshelf the wood does not look like there is a finish on it it looks like you got a couple of like plain two by fours from home depot that you said listen i need somewhere to put my books Let's do something with this. It looks like wood that you would build a house with. Like here lies what is beneath the drywall. But let's look at this top shelf. I like that you have the memory police. I never read it. I don't know what this is. Oh my gosh! Le nuit qui ne finit pas. Bitch. French. Something this way wicked comes, whatever the fuck. Ray Burnaby. That's not his name. I read his other book about the fire Fahrenheit. 4051. I fucking hated it. I didn't even finish it. And I actually had this book. Never read it. After I read the firefighter one, I said, I don't need to read any more from this fucker. Sorry. Joan Didion, I love. Oh, oh, oh. John Green looking for Alaska. Interesting. The Green Mile. I have read The Green Mile. That honestly is a really good book. People aren't talking about The Green Mile enough. I think I read it when I was maybe like 14. This is a great one. I love that you have the parable of the sower. I am obsessed with Earthseed, I've realized. I read this book probably at the beginning of the pandemic, like years ago. Recently, I've had this like resurgence of just like such an appreciation and a love for the religion that the main character creates in this book and the whole idea that God is changed. I'm not a religious person at all. I'm very like, agnostic. I think that the idea of like God being change and the changes around us and the change in our life, like that's God. It kind of puts the saying like everything happens for a reason and applying that like I guess spiritually. I don't know. Ooh, I'm gonna start a church. So let's listen. These fucking like televangelists and like mega church people, they're making a lot of money. 
like they make billions and it's been making me think like i had this passion i guess for earthseed recently so I'm like damn like why don't i just make that my own thing and like start a mega church okay here's shelf number two anzi palais zarathustra oh my Eve, nietzsche 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 Nietzsche, fuck off. I'm about to pair some drugs. I'm about to pair some drugs. Seriously. I made a video a while ago where I said Nietzsche. I think I got like one comment correcting my pronunciation. And I think in the video I even said I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> but when they commented, I was like, damn, like, what did I do? Like, all I did was have fun. And you're coming at me for my, for pronunciation right now? Why the fuck do you have that? <laughs> Bilbo la Hobbit. <laughs> She's got the French version of The Hobbit, but it's for some reason not called The Hobbit. It's called Bilbo the Hobbit. Wait, let me get, you sent a full body shot of it. You know what? Hmm. I feel like your room smells like cabbages. I'm gonna give it like a, a seven. I'm gonna do the most recent one I got. The most recent one I have is from someone called William. Oh, this is very cool. I like it a lot. The one thing, I like like the rods, like the black on the sides, but that wood, I don't really like the wood. I don't like the color. Let's see what you have. What is horse gods? What is that? What do you have here? You only really have like one real bookshelf. Okay, Hamnet is lit. Ocean Vuong, you have some Ocean Vuong. I also saw you have Ocean Vuong down here. I've read the Earth one, but I've been meaning to read the Mother one. Dune. Dune is another thing that I've recently been loving. I read Dune. I think I read it at the beginning of 2020. And when I first read it, I was like, this shit is boring and long and kind of is not that great. That movie? That soundtrack, like the, um, <laughs> I love that. That movie is crazy. Although I love that you also don't have the second one <laughs> because I feel like it means that you read it and we're also like, that's enough. Down here is super interesting. I love a little like rock shell collection. I love this art too. I wonder if you did it. You seem like an artist. I feel like you definitely did this chair. It looks like something you would do. I'll give you like an eight. An eight. And I like that you don't have a lot of books. I think the last video I was like, I love a book that's like overflowing, but I've recently been on like my against hoarding books shit. I think we all need to centralize the library into our lives and stop buying so many books. Especially from places like Amazon. Okay, I don't think this is your real name, but somebody called Tyler Perry sent me theirs. Oh! The first thing I see is that Dune. You got Dune 1, 2, and 3. Actually, isn't the second one blue? Tyler Perry got Dune 1, 3, and 5. Perfect order. I can see also that you are like color coordinating it. And then you have Babel by Arf Kwong, who did the Poppy Wars. Tell me. Tyler, did you like that book? Because I read The Poppy Wars and I wasn't a huge fan of them, honestly. I could see myself liking Babel. And then you have a whole bunch of Alice Oseman. I honestly don't have anything to say about, like, cool. <laughs> okay, I like how you, you have him, us, but not her. There's a lot to unpack there. I'm diagnosing you with misogyny. Him, us, why are you leaving out her? And what about they? Wow, not looking good for you. I don't know about the color coordinating thing you've got going on. Honestly, I don't care. Like, it looks pretty. I color coordinate my closet, so I'm not really one to talk, but I also feel like color coordinating your closet is very different from color coordinating your books because your closet, you go in there every day and you gotta kinda like know where stuff is. Whereas your bookshelf, it's like, okay, you can do anything. Why you gotta do Roy G. Biv? It's been done before, like, it's a little bit tired if you ask me. Oh, you have the Martian though, see? You gotta put the Martian with your other and you wear books, dude. You're sacrificing order for the rainbow. I don't know. And then down here, I wonder what's going on. What is this? Oh. Is that a Swifty? You know, I got a funny feeling that you don't even have a record player. You're just buying all of Taylor Swift's records. <laughs> but then over here, I don't even want to touch. It's just, that's too much. Under the dome? Ah! Oh, out of all the books? 
by Stephen King, Under the Dome? Under the Dome, beside milk and honey? Right, right. <laughs> You're about to give me a seizure. That's too much. You got issues for that. I am going to prescribe you lithium. You're falling. I saw that. If I go outside and there's a fucking dome, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. And that was like a magnetic reaction from a dome just forming over my town. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I don't know what that was. I'm gonna give you like a 10 because I don't know what the fuck you got going on, but there is like some magical dark energy that you just created with that combination of under the dome and the car that um I'm honestly scared of. Like I feel like a, a, a darkness within me now. You've cracked the code. You have completely exited the simulation. I don't want to fuck with you, so I'm gonna just give you a 10. Oh, I love this name, Alma. That's a pretty name. Oh, okay. Wow. You know, it's difficult for my eyes to not immediately travel to this. Um, I think that's the guy from Toy Story. Is that, am I right? This is fucking crazy. I love it. This is quite reminiscent of my first video with the titties. What's that? That's cool. I think that you also have stolen someone's license plate. This little troll's not hiding it, by the way. <laughs> I can see that you have stolen a license plate. Okay, let's look at your books. You only have one shelf, which as I said before, I love. The first thing I see is Hamnet, which is one of my favorite books. I also see The Priory of the Orange Tree, which is a book that, I don't know. I've seen it around a lot. Damn, wait, one, two, three, four, five books in a row that I've read and all of them I loved. You're cool, you're cool. Um, but then you have Neil Gaiman, which is weird. I've never read a Neil Gaiman. I've heard lots about him. Oh, you gotta put this one with your other Neil Gaimans, girl. You got a stray Neil Gaiman <laughs> here. She's on the run. I'm gonna give your bookshelf an eight. Everyone's getting eights. No, I do love the gumption of stealing a license plate and making like what Ever the fuck this is. So I guess I'm gonna give you an 8.5 because that's like cool as fuck. You listen to CDs, that's cool as fuck. You have troll dolls, you steal license plates. You are clearly lit as fuck. So I'll give you like an 8.5. Dude, I'm sorry. My like little tripod thingamajig, I, it's broken. So whatever's going on here, this is the, just gonna be the rest of the video. Hopefully it's good. Ooh. <laughs> So we're just gonna do one more. Let me do one from a long time ago. Let me find a guy. Let's do Matthew. I just feel like men, men are not, we're just not represented enough. Oh, nerd, nerd. I see, oh, fucking nerd. I love the dragon. But you're fucking bobo. Is this young Sheldon? No, I do like that dragon. Oh God, I cut myself. the dome. Let me look at what you got here. Look at this beat up copy of The Secret History. That is how The Secret History should look. I've only read it once. I do want to reread it though. So one day that's the goal. That is the body goal of The Secret History is to be like fucked up. Moby Dick. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about you. I feel like I am not the only person in the world who has absolutely no idea what the fuck Moby Dick is. Like, I feel like we've all just accepted Moby Dick as like a thing, but none of us really actually know what it is. We're all just kind of like, it's a classic piece of literature. <laughs> And somehow we're always referencing it, even though we don't know what it is. But it's very interesting that you own it. I like these like orange penguin classics. I don't own any, I think I should. Um, the only one I've read out of these is Lolita. Today I ordered online, which I know I, I, okay. I'm a hypocrite, whatever. I know, like we know this. I'm a piece of shit, who cares? I did order like 11 books online today. I stop buying so many books. I got Pale Fire and Penin. This is an interesting one. I love, um, I love your finger. <laughs> the only thing that I think I want to address here is... Infinite Jest.
Nary a crack in that spine. You have not read that book, nor will you ever. Oh God, I feel like, oh, it's, I don't even want to get into that book. It's too much. I've never even tried reading it. There is like this thing in the back of my brain that's like, maybe you should do a video one day trying to read that book. But it's like, I just know it's going to cause me too much pain. If you've read Infinite Jest, let me know. Leave like, I don't know, man, just a purple heart in the comments because that's what you deserve for reading that a purple heart because that's fucking brave ptsd ptsd i'm diagnosing everyone who has completed infinite jest with ptsd so yeah that's everyone um i think i only did five people oh rating um mm, mm, 7.5 i'll do this again soon elizabeth do you know what's so bad? I very nearly pushed off this and like flew back in my chair. This is a tall chair. I would have cracked my skull open and died. Mi culo es muy grande y epistezo. That's Spanish. <laughs>